King Charles III is reportedly likely to remove both the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, and the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, from a pool of royal substitutes that conduct official routine constitutional duties while he's out of the country. As the first constitutional reform of the reign of King Charles, once finalised, these plans would avoid any future prospect for both the errant dukes to be involved in affairs of state in the absence of the king. These proposals were in the works months ago with the approval of the late Queen Elizabeth. Under proposals expected to come before Parliament, possibly within weeks, the king will be able to draw on a wider pool of royal substitutes, not least the Princess Royal and the Earl of Wessex, to conduct routine constitutional duties when he's out of the country. It's believed that King Charles III favours this amendment, but has not spoken publicly on it. And while the monarch has not been out of the country since the Queen's visit to Malta in 2015 for the Commonwealth Summit, This is expected to change imminently, with a rumoured visit to Australia even on the cards for King Charles. Once Charles inevitably tours abroad, two councillors of state will be appointed in the absence of the king. Meanwhile, the highly anticipated memoir of Prince Harry has reportedly obtained an early 2023 release. It comes after months of an alleged delay following the passing of the Queen. The New York Times reported that the memoir will drop on January 10th, 2023. In what is expected to be a tell-all insight into his life as a royal, the memoir was delayed from an expected autumn release as part of a three-titled deal with Penguin Random House, estimated to be worth in excess of $36 million. According to Palace Insiders, Whilst the memoir had been signed off by Harry, as soon as the Queen passed away, he requested a number of alterations be made amid fears that his final draft might not go down very well with his family amidst an already strained relationship. A source told the Daily Mail that the move to delay the release of the memoir had thrown a spanner in the works. There may be things in the book which might not look so good if they come out so soon after these events. He wants sections changed now. It's not a total rewrite by any means, He desperately wants to make changes, but it might be too late. The news comes after Penguin Random House had already demanded a rewrite after the first draft was deemed too touchy-feely and placed too much focus on mental health. Literary agent Matt Latimer told the New York Times, Is his goal to enhance his celebrity with a certain sector of the public, or is it to repair the rift with his family? Those are competing goals to some extent, and it's hard to do both. Royal biographer Tina Brown author of the Diana Chronicles and the Palace Papers, does not think the contentious biography will ever see the light of day, according to the Telegraph. They're now in this bind where they've taken all this money and Harry has made this book deal where he's supposed to spill everything about his horrible life as a royal, but now he's actually tortured about it because he understands there's no way back if he does. If the book continues, I don't think there is any way for Harry to return, so my view has always been that the book won't see the light of day.